Hi, uh, my name is uh, Captain Don McMacken, United States Navy retired, and uh, I have served. I served in the Navy for the last 38 years in various ways. Um, my naval career started as a midshipman at the University of California at Berkeley. Midshipmen are officers in training. That's the rank that we have. Um, when we're on active duty, we get paid half of an instance pay, um, so we, we do get paid. And uh, I studied uh, statistics at, the, at UC Berkeley, graduating in 1980. And from there, I went to the Navy's nuclear power uh, pro into the Navy's nuclear power program. Um, I spent pretty much the rest of my career in expeditionary warfare. I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, these expeditionary warfare program is part of the surface warfare program. Um, our job was to, is to protect beaches, ports, uh, and the shoreline of not just the United States, but places such as Kuwait. Wherever the United States Navy or its allies are bringing in shipping, our job is to protect those ships. That was what I did for a large chunk of my, uh, my time. Um, from there, uh, and after 9-11, got more serious. We became the Naval Coastal Warfare Program, and uh, I was uh, honored to become the Commodore of Naval Coastal Warfare Squadron 33 up in uh, Everett, Washington. We deployed with that unit to Kuwait. We had units in Kuwait, we had units in the country of the United Arab Emirates, um, and we had some that were out on the oil platforms in that area. My second deployment was to Afghanistan, um, where we basically helped to train the Afghan army and police. There are no oceans in Afghanistan. There are rivers, but there are no oceans. So what was the Navy doing in Afghanistan? The Navy, along with the Air Force, were helping the Navy and the Marine Corps uh, in what they called individual augmentees. We went as military professionals, uh, doing a military professional job, uh, not an infantry job, uh, not a SEAL job, not an EOD job, but training the Afghans how to run camps, how to protect themselves, set up defensive systems within their camps. Um, to do that, we spent three months in Fort Riley, Kansas at the, at the, the uh, Army's Combat Infantry School. We then deployed. My job when we deployed with one of the teams, we, we trained in small teams, uh, was actually elevated to where I was on the staff of the commanding general of the, uh, of the the task force. Um, we spent, uh, spent just under a year there. Um, it was a very different deployment. Um, we met a lot of great people. It was a very international deployment um, with all the countries that were active over there. Um, I've built some very good relationships with uh, Romanians, French, Germans, uh, Brits, Australians, a lot of other great kind, and, and Afghans. And, uh, it was, a, it was a much more stressful deployment. Uh, we, uh, we had a lot of losses. Um, we did not bring home everybody. So that's something that uh, happens in war. And, and we always regret that, but we always train very hard to be able to do our mission. Um, doing that, I retired. I had hit my 30 years, and at that time I'd been affiliated with the Navy for 34 years from my time as a midshipman. Um, I retired from the United States Navy, and a few months later, I found out that I could teach high school. It was uh, during that time that I put all my paperwork together, went through the board, uh, was evaluated, and was certified to teach the Navy's Junior ROTC program, uh, which is uh, taught by retired uh, Navy, Coast Guard, and Marine Corps personnel. Uh, my first school that I taught at was Saddleback High School in Santa Ana, and then I had the outstanding opportunity to uh, become a Lancer, and, uh, and I have, uh, I'm in my second year of teaching at Lakewood High School, which has got one of the best units in the United States at it, and uh, I find it's a great job. Uh, that's kind of the timeline of my career. Uh, 